David Ortiz, an extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment and a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. 20, 25 years from now, you're going to want to say, I was there when Ken Griffey Jr. made his home debut. So don't forget that on Monday night. There's a drive into the gap in left center field and deep left center field. And Henderson's not going to get to it. It's off the base of the wall. And Griffey to second base in his first major league at bat. A ringing double off the 375 marker. And we have seen that all spring. Welcome to the show, Ken Griffey Jr. is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's on to Game 5 of the National League Championship Series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2017 Washington Nationals. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the focus for them as they try to win an NL championship here on the road, HR? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Gio Gonzalez is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Nationals. And in the outfield, Bryce Harper, you know, when he first broke into the league when he was 19, 20 years old, he was running around like a crazy man all over the place, like a little jackrabbit, <laughs> out of control. He's calmed it down now. And he's really become a nice outfielder. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Two and one now to Reyes. And trouble lurking right out of the chute as that misses to Reyes here for ball three. Matt, this is an important at bat. This is an important half inning. They need to score a run. They didn't score last game. Runs get people excited. You get your fan base enthused. Either they're watching it on television or they're right here. Uh-oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line and left hooking, but it's a fair ball. Home run. A solo home run for Jose Reyes. His first homer so far in the series, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing.
first batter of the postseason game and he hits a home run well that a fire up the team looks like they came ready to play and if they weren't that definitely will ignite them. pitch on its way and he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings a four pitch walk here hey three of those pitches Got were definitely third. out of the zone Little but that last Fielder pitch looked third. pretty darn good to me Michael you're not usually going to get many favorable calls on three and oh though you have to earn that spot into the box now Michael Conforto now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate here's the one and two swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first down that was some nice execution on that pitch spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone and when you do that especially with two strikes not a lot of guys are going to hurt you you're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. change up that catches the corner well they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series he's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far ready on one and two chopped weakly to the left scooped up they'll force it up to second and they do get the out there but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to the second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. In now, Wilmer Flores. Called strike two. Snuck that high, hard one by him without a swing, but... That's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the first coming up from Nationals Park. It's 1-0 Mets. Time now from our nation's capital to take a look at the Nats starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. And he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Steven Matz will do the pitching with a trip to the World Series on the table. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, his last outing, Matt, he pitched into the seventh inning, giving his team a chance to stay close and have a chance to win this ball game. He got a no decision. But he's in a nice groove right now, and we'll see if he's able to bring that groove into this game as well. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often in this club.
in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. The one and two pitch. Line toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And the Nationals get a man into scoring position. It's a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he races the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. And he looks at one in there, one and two. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. Summersgill's a little notorious for having a wide zone. Really frustrating for hitters. I saw one guy turn around at him one day and yell, is this a picnic table or is it a plate? Yeah, he was tossed before he finished the sentence. A runner at second, nobody out. And here's a ball hit in the air. Reyes ranging into the outfield, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting third, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Pinky held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Line drive to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And with two away, here's a look at our updated playoff brackets. And the question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game? Now at the plate, Bryce Harper. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. Two out here and a runner at second. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ligares is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Second inning upcoming from our nation's capital. It's the Mets one, and the Nationals nothing. Here it comes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will, just to the right of the chalk, a fair ball. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here.
Here's the catcher Travis Darno in head to head meetings with Gio Gonzalez comes in with six hits in 20 at bats. Payoff pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. And a good throw gets him one gun. Batting eight. Center fielder number 12. Juan Lagares. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready to deliver the one and two. Liner toward right center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. And that'll plate their second run of the game as they take a 2-0 lead. Cardinal sin, Cardinal sin. Nine, you nine. got an open base pitcher. with the pitcher on the on-deck circle nine. and you let him get a base hit. That just can't happen. Into the box, Steven Matz. Now a bunt attempt here, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Runner at first here, one man out. Can't connect with the bunt attempt, and that's a strikeout. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Man at second here with two away. And the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. He's set. Here's the three and two. Lifted in the air out the center field. Eaton is under it. And that retires the side. Played a run on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Mets two and the Nationals nothing. Here's Jason Worth. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that textbook sinker. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. Just stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That's a tremendous at bat. Saw a bunch of pitches, saw basically everything he throws, and then got a base hit to right field. Can't write it in the back. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. A 3 for 12 line. He also has one home run. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Ready on one and two. 
The big curve ball just misses apparently ball two. Wow that was a decent breaking ball right there but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Hit on the ground out to short and this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Well, he hit that ball hard right there. I think he got a little bit lucky. If it's at somebody, probably a double Catcher. play ball instead Correct. of a single. Norris. Into the box now, Derek Norris. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. Good fight to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Standing in now, Gio Gonzalez. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. In there, one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Change up, called strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call, one away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. In now, Michael Conforto. As he hits one on a line to left field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now that's pretty special. So many left handed hitters pull the ball now. To take the ball the other way and drive it through that hole, that's very unique for today's game. Stepping in now, Joanna Cespedes. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Eaton going back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two-run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. His first homer here in the series, and the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work. So it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Into the box now, Wilmer Flores. One and two now, he just catches the outer half.
A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, giving up hits is one thing, but judging by that last pitch, he doesn't have any consistency with his release point right now. He doesn't know where it's going, and he knows it. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Turner into shallow center, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Well, he's known for hitting the ball out of the ballpark, but that just shows you how strong he is. He gets jammed. He's able to fight it off and flip it over the infield. That's a strong dude. Standing in now, David Wright. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. And there he goes towards second. Hit hard on the ground at first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Well, the hit and run was on right there, and the runner running to second base on the steal. I thought he might go to third base. The ball ended up in the outfield. I guess he didn't feel comfortable. That's why he pulled up. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. In now, Travis Darno. And this one's in the dirt. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And no one will get this one. Here's the payoff pitch, but he won't have an opportunity to throw either man out. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with only one away. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging? Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager, and a change is coming up as that's going to be all for Gio Gonzalez. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Your Vance Worley is going to come on to now pitch here, and in national. just the third inning, you have Number to think 50. he'll be asked to eat Vance. some innings. Worley. Here's Juan Ligares. Head-to-head -head history with Vance Worley. He's got five base hits in 22 tries. He's taken him deep once. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Grounded to first. Fielded cleanly by Zimmerman. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Riding in once again, Steven Matz. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. Hey. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll be a painful run batted in. Well, there's a couple of ways to look at this. It never looks good to hit a man when your team is getting shelled. Seems a little suspicious. Then again, sooner or later, you've got to reclaim the inside part of the plate, or things can get even worse. Stepping in now, Jose Reyes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this will wind up a foul ball. Four runs here in this half inning. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And a relay to the plate. The tag from Norris, and he is out at the plate. Nine men come to the plate for a score. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mets lead it six to nothing. Matt Vaskersian back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And starting out the inning, it'll be the exciting speedster Trey Turner. Ready now with the payoff pitch. This is line to left. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. So the leadoff hitter in the inning reaches safely for the Nationals. Well, here he goes again. Here's that guy, a leadoff base hit. He's having a nice postseason. He is really locked in right now. Into the box, Adam Eaton. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. The one and two pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Pretty evident by the swing. Sometimes guys get in that protect mode so much that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Into the box now, Daniel Murphy. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Can't keep that one fair either, and now the count is full. Ready with the payoff pitch. And this is a strike three call. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable right to advance that leadoff single into scoring right. position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Two out with the man at first. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw on to second for the force and the side is retired. One left for Washington. They still find themselves down six zip. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. He pulls this one into right. Harper is there, one away. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. In now, Michael Conforto. Fastball called strike, one and two. Six runs, seven hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. 
And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. In time to first, and there are two away. Well the executed to Seymour on the outside corner that no time, and, and that's, that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Bases are empty here with two men out. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Set to deal on two and two. Oh, got him looking at the two seamer, and that'll end it. Mets go down one, two, three. They lead it six zip. Here's Jason Warren. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going. So, what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for the shortstop, Reyes. One away. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Digging in, Anthony Rendon. He reached on a single in his first try. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Here comes the three one pitch. Swinging a soft liner, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Well, you want to throw that sinker down. That one stayed up, and that's what the hitter's looking for. Get that ball above my thighs so I can hit it. If it's below the thigh, you let it go. Nice job. Good execution of your game plan. Standing in now, Ryan Zimmerman. Soft liner to the right side, but this is speared by the first baseman. Now batting, catcher, Derek Norris. The catcher, Derek Norris, is in. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hard hit ball to second. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. Rendon is on his way home. And a relay home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. That will drive a pitching coach crazy. He has the hitter down 0-2 in the count. And instead of making him chase it something off the plate, he grooves one that's driven down the line for a run scoring double. Have to make better pitches on an 0-2 count. Into the box, Vance Worley. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. What a two out rally. You got a two out RBI right there. Now the pitcher comes to play with the runner in scoring position. Talk about an opportunity to help yourself out right here. He's got one right now. Another 1 2 delivery. Now, a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. One for the Nationals on the RBI double. We're through four, and this is now a 6 1 ball game. Digging in and looking for more, Romer Flores. A hit in two tries so far. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. 
Ready once again, David Wright. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. How about it? Catcher, Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Fouled back. The next 3 2. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Well, that was a slider in a 3 2 count, and it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Ready for another shot now. Juan Ligares. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Now, Matt, this is a tough part of being the eight hitter. That ball's right down the middle. So it makes me wonder is he trying to give his pitcher a breather or is he just not being aggressive? With the pitcher hitting behind you, you get a ball groove, you got to take a big hat. Right, Hit on the ground out to short. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Mets strand one. They lead it six to one. Ready for another chance? Trey Turner. He singled his last time up. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 0-2 delivery. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Here comes another 0-2. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. He's just fouling him off so he gets something he wants to hit. Another 0-2 home. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Now another 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's Adam taking full advantage Eaton. of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box now, Adam Eaton. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. One and two here it comes. And here's a ball hit in the air but no chance to run it down it's a foul ball. One run six hits and no errors so far for the Nationals. Hold high in the air out to right field. Conforto is there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Two out, nobody on. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Smoke toward third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Digging in once again, Stephen Matz. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Shortstop number seven, Jose Reyes. One away now for the Mets in the sixth. And stepping in is the shortstop, Jose Reyes. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1-2 and two now. Now here's the pitch. And look out. Is that one sails behind him? All even at two and two. Here it is. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Turner backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. In now as Drupal Cabrera. A fastball that just misses inside. Well, that's two quick outs right there, getting those guys in front of him, but now the two-hitter comes to the plate. Right here, you look to either get on base any way you can, hit a gapper, anything, because you want those big boys coming up next. Into the windup, here's the two-and-one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three-and-one. Michael Conforto would be next. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Line to the right side. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Well, that's not rocket science. You fall behind three one right to this guy. You're probably going to give up a base Michael hit when you throw him a fastball. Michael. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. Ready with the one and one. Cut fastball, and he's got to lean out of the way of that one. He's getting a little shaky trying to close this inning up. Look, he gives up a base hit. Then he almost hits the guy right here. Got to take a deep breath, throw strikes.
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. A runner on first with two away. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Set to deal on two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Mets leave one. They hold on to their six to one lead. Here's Bryce Harper now. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. On the ground to the right side. Flores is there and he'll step on first for the out three unassisted now batting left fielder Jason Ward. ready for another shot now Jason Worth. he started out the evening 0 for 2 so far here it comes on one and one here's a high pop up Matt is there for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Oh, no. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. Digging in and looking for more, Anthony Rendon. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order. They trail six to one. Back here at Nationals Park. It's on to the seventh now in game number five. But before the inning gets underway, let's fill you in on what's happened with our game summary. Blake Trinan is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to Washington. start inning number seven. Number 45, Blake Trinan. Riding in once again, Joanna Cespedes. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. On he'll try it again, three and two. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. His second of the game as it's now a six run ball game. Well that pitch was up in the zone sometimes on a pitch like that all you've got to do is just touch it. You can see he got the barrel up there and because the height of the pitch the ball's trajectory is going to carry out of the ballpark. Stepping in now Wilmer Flores and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. The third baseman number five David Wright. Here's the third baseman David Wright two for three with a double on his line so far. Bases are empty, one man out. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. 
throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Up next for the Mets, catcher Travis Darno. So striding forward now, Travis Darno. A couple of walks for him thus far. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Two out, nobody on. Slider misses, and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Boy, oh boy, that's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering, where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Joe Nathan comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Joe Nathan. Juan Ligares will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Turner has it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. Ladies and gentlemen, but the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Mets seven and the Nats one. Ready once again, Ryan Zimmerman. He's one for two in the ball game. Hits this one hard the other way. Cabrera's there. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Up next for Washington. Catcher. Derek Norris. The catcher Derek Norris is in. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Conforto sprinting after it. Uh oh, he whips on it. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. It looked like he had a great jump on the ball. It's going to bring it in, no problem. But something happened as he approached the foul line, and it went right by him. It wasn't a routine play, but he'll tell you he should have had it. Adam Lind will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Adam Lind. Runner at second here with one man out. And it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Hard hit ball to second. And that's in there. Base hit. Norris rounds third and is digging for the plate. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. That ball looked like it started behind him, and he hung in there, and the ball stays inside still, and he gets the base hit on it. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Runners on first with one down. Into the box, Trey Turner. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. There to pull it in, Ligaris. And there are two away now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. The center fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Adam Eaton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Hit hard up the middle. And that gets through, so he'll have his first base hit and make him one for four in the game now. Well, another single. Now they're first and second. They've been swinging the bat great all day, but they haven't come up with the big hit to break an inning open. Maybe that's coming. Into the box now. Daniel Murphy. Hard on the ground towards short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Only one in the inning for the Nationals. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets seven and the Nationals two. Sammy Solis has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Sammy Solis. Rene Rivera is going to be asked to get Number things going here as a lead off the top of the Rene eighth. Rivera. Hit out towards second. Gloved by Murphy. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Shortstop number seven, Jose Reyes. Ready for another chance, Jose Reyes. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. One and one, here it comes. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. On the ground, up the middle. Turner fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, two gone. The batter number 13. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. In now as Drupal Cabrera slap hard the opposite way. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, that's why they call baseball a game of inches. Yeah, you're right, Matt. He showed some serious hops, but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with a good leap, but he just can't bring it in. And that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. In there, two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. High pop up. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Rafael Montero. It's on to pitch out of the, the bullpen in the bottom Number half 50, of the eighth. Rafael Montero. Now in the box, Bryce Harper. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Payoff pitch one more time. This is pulled into right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Well, here they go again. Another base hit. This one leading off the inning here late in the game. But they put together some base hits, but haven't been able to get that big hit to drive in the run.
Nobody out, runner on first. Stepping in now, Jason Worth. He grounds it sharply to third. To Cabrera for one on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game the as there are quickly two six, away now. Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, one and two now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. I always believe the best hitters are the ones that can stay on the ball and use the whole field. Right there is a perfect example. Ball away, he stays with it and shoots it the opposite direction. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Lagares is under it. And the inning is over. Nationals leave one. They're down five. It's seven to two. Back now with baseball on MLB Network from the nation's capital. Just down the street from the Capitol building. We are set for what remains in this one. Trevor Gott is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted Washington. into the number six spot following the double spot. switch. Number Stephen Drew will Trevor also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order nine. here on that double number switch. You win at Cespedes. We'll get another shot at it here as we take you back to inning number seven. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'd like nothing more than to make it three right here. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And able to lay off the fastball away here. 2 and 1 now. Grounded weakly to the left. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. First baseman number four, Wilmer Flores. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Up high in the air. Zimmerman is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Standing in, David Wright. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Hit hard on the ground to short. Turner loves it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. They're on top seven to two. to pick things up where we left off Derek Norris and obviously they'll need a ninth inning rally here if this series is going to make it to a game six and he 
and he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Now batting third baseman. Now batting Stephen Drew as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One out nobody on. Rip down the first baseline but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And that is swung on and missed and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count you might be sitting off speed and what happens he gets the fastball and he can't catch up to the express. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Now the one and two pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Ready with another two strike offering. Hit hard on the ground to second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Well, that's why you grind out every at bat. You don't want the game to end on your watch. He gets the base hit, extends it, and we'll see what happens the rest of the way up. Two out with the man at first. Into the box, Adam Eaton. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Now the one and two pitch. And amazing it is. The Mets are your National League champions. They've taken care of business all season long, and tonight was no exception. They've proven to be the best team in the National League. Now it's time to see if they can become the best in the entire game. Celebrate tonight, and the World Series is next. Congrats to the NL champs. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one. Really put the guys on his back and carried him to the victory. You've been watching the National League Championship Series. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Seven runs on ten hits. One error. They left nine men on base. For the Nationals, two runs on eleven hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower. And right, number 30 touches them all, and boy, what a Father's Day gift for Seymour. Hitting his 500th home run to right field. 
What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. That is crazy.